Everybody loves unboxing videos. You buy something on Amazon and you unbox it, or your cat takes your shit in a litter box and you unbox that. It seems like anything you fucking stick a fucking camera in front of people want to watch. That said, what we're going to do in this new series I've entitled Unshit Boxing, we're going to search Craigslist and Kijiji for computers that have either been mislisted or misrepresented or being sold by somebody who doesn't speak any English. We're going to buy them super cheap and unbox them live right here on the channel. Well, not, not actually live. I'm going to record it continuously is what I mean and then put it into video form and snippets. But first, before we do the unboxing, we actually have to buy the fucking thing and that's what we're going to do in today's video. Let's do some shopping. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's jump right in here i've skipped all the free stuff at the bottom i've sorted by lowest price and i'm just in the general fucking desktop computer category of which we have 1709 to choose from uh the reason i skipped the free stuff is because if it's free it's usually not worth your time to go out and get that's the thing you're wasting an hour of your time and five bucks worth of gas or transit money so start start in the 20 dollars range and work your way up and see what pops out at you. Desktop PC in excellent condition. You might be getting excited here, but I gotta tell you, there's not really much reason to celebrate. Maybe looking at the specs and going four gigs of RAM, sounds half decent, 250 gigabyte hard drive that's usable. You got a Core 2 Intel CPU 6600 at 2.4 gigahertz. This guy is being intentionally misleading and you can tell because nowhere in this line does he say that it's a Core 2 Duo or a Core 2 Quad. And the reason that he's not saying that is because it is most definitely a Core 2 Duo and he's trying to grab the attention of people who think that it might be a Core 2 Quad Q6600 as opposed to an E6600. And the reason I can say that confidently is because the Intel D965GF platform does not support Core 2 Quads. Interesting, interesting, okay, all right. I have a large LG monitor in good condition along with a keyboard and mouse for $50. I also have a computer which is broken but you can take it for $30 extra. It turns on it will not show picture on my monitor. Should be easy to fix. Think it's just a virus. Okay, you're full of shit. I don't have the time. If interested, give me a shout. Okay, all right. You gotta be wary of shit like this because you're obviously buying broken stuff. But let's zoom in. And see what okay okay am I seeing this right that sticker it's an Intel inside sticker and this looks like it says Core i3 and it just doesn't display video well that tells me a lot that's pro the processor is probably fine uh, okay all right okay so we have a hot lead here this is definitely a hot lead all right let's send him a message I think it's worthwhile so my name is Jeff my email address this email address I'm gonna leave on the screen I'm gonna be too lazy to, to, to blur it out I'm actually interested, I'll say very interested, interested in the broken computer. Would you accept a hearty Joe Blob? No, no, no. Would you accept $20 for it? Let me know. Wanted gaming PC. Okay, well, you uh, probably are going about it the wrong way. Oh, look, he's actually trying to sell one and just misclick. Hi, I'm selling my old gaming PC. I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but it suddenly stopped turning on. So I'm guessing the motherboard died. Otherwise, all the other parts in it works. How would you know that if the motherboard doesn't work? The graphics card, RAM, everything else. So I'm trying to get around 50 to 60 dollars you can use it for parts or replace the motherboard uh your call you can reach me by text at run on fucking sentence here's my phone number in the ad which i will probably have to fucking blur because you're stupid okay let's see what's in this thing oh that's an nvidia card it's double slot so it is at the very least an 8000 series card which would be my guess as to what it actually is probably an 8800 or some shit like that Let's see that that's a stock intel cooler on a p5q motherboard with what could actually be eight gigs of ram probably four could be eight we have four sticks in here oh that's a cable nest antec earthwatts power supply purple label purple label purple label the burgundy label was 500 the 380 was green i think 430 would be purple i don't recall exactly power supply might be usable but given the symptoms he's describing it could very well be the power supply that's gone in a situation like this you're definitely going to have to talk the guy down because it ain't worth 50 to 60 bucks it's been up since the end of october if he's still got it he's probably getting eager to just get rid of it and buy himself a fucking pizza with the money just i'll make him a super lowball offer so i said i'll give you 20 dollars for it best i can do considering you haven't lived 
listed any of the specs, let me know. Now we're gonna party like it's 19 for the generic brand Northern Micro. So he says generic brand is what it is. You know, generic, it's just generic Apple. Fuck you, it's called Northern Micro. Stupid cunt, $65, let's see what we got. Ooh, okay, AMD, AMD, AMD is what I said? Processor, AMD Phenom 2, 2800 megahertz. Oh God, that could be a quad core or a dual core. Uh, all right, the hard drive is usable, but not great. And the RAM is passable. All right, so what matters in a build like this, and he's got lots of them, is is the motherboard for one which you can't tell and whether or not it's a dual core or quad core and the fact that he doesn't say and the fact that he has so fucking many of these things tells me that it's probably a dual core and this is not worth your time but since i've got lots of time let's send him a message uh, dual core or quad core CPU. This is a bit of an eye catcher. Desktop computer for sale. Okay, so this is a Cooler Master Elite 330 case. I know that. Uh, he's got a Core i3 processor in it at 3.2 gigahertz. Oh, it's first gen. So it's an i3 550 which is still not bad because that means this is a very rare LGA 1156 motherboard under here. They're becoming increasingly hard to find. Uh, and it comes with the IO shield. That's important. That's 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 something we want. It comes with a stupid fucking monitor that I'm going to throw into garbage. Well, what am I paying for here? I can't see the inside. So I'm paying for the Cooler Master Elite 330 case, the motherboard, a 500 gigabyte hard drive, and four gigs of DDR3, which are probably two gig sticks. I would be willing to wager. One gigabyte DDR3 sticks are actually kind of hard to find. Let's see if he'll take 75. It's very possible that he will. It's been up since November 26th. That's quite a fair bit of time. So he's maybe getting a little sick of holding on to it. <laughs> computer. Compact desktop computer has everything rarely used. Oh, oh god so here we are two days later it's sunday morning i'm still kind of waking up but i thought i'd check in and finish this video off by letting you know that i have indeed gotten some bite back on those offers i sent out and i will be going to pick up one of those systems today which one will it be well unfortunately you're gonna have to stay tuned for the next episode of unshit boxing to see exactly which one i picked up and what goodies are inside of it anyhow i know people hate cliffhangers but given the style and nature of this video it kind of has to sort of happen this way because time needs to pass in between parts of the project but if you can draw anything from this video that's educational and informational it would be from the observation of my shopping tactics so i hope that by observing me and getting into my thought process while searching for these systems you sort of have a better idea of how to go about it yourself and i think that's the real aim and goal of this whole project so hope you enjoyed follow me on twitter at ofa search for the project shitbox steam group i'll leave the links for the things that i'm mentioning in the description this time i promise i always forget i know this video is a bit of a blue ball video so i will try to give you something midweek to make up for it maybe on wednesday or thursday anyway thanks for watching as always and i'll see you in the next one